Oakham is the county town of Rutland, the smallest county in England, and the fourth smallest in the UK as a whole. Oakham is one of only two towns in Rutland, the other being Uppingham. At the centre of the county is the large artificial reservoir, Rutland Water. Oakham lies to the west of Rutland Water in the Vale of Catmose and is built on an incline varying from 325 feet to 400 feet above sea level. Tourist attractions in Oakham include All Saints Church and Oakham Castle. The town is home to Oakham School, one of the major English public schools, which was founded in 1584. The original school building survives northeast of the church. Another popular and historic feature is the open air market held in the town's market square every Wednesday and Saturday, near the ancient octagonal buttercross with its pyramidal roof and wooden stocks. Rutland County Museum is located in the old riding school of the Rutland Fencible Cavalry, which was built in 1794 to 1795. The museum houses a collection of objects relating to local rural and agricultural life, social history and archaeology. The impressive spire of All Saints Church, built during the 14th century, dominates distant views of the town for several miles in all directions. Restored in 1857 to 1858 by Sir George Gilbert Scott, the church is a Grade 1 listed building. I've got an uncle who used to live in a village very close to Oakham and although he didn't live here very long I do remember him saying that he liked living here very much. Anyway, it's high time I started my walk. Moving on from Oakham, I travelled about two miles east to the village of Hambleton. The village contains the 12th century church of St Andrew, a hotel and restaurant called Hambleton Hall, and a pub, the Finch's Arms. The hall was built in 1881 as a hunting box by Walter Marshall, who left it to his sister, Eva Astley Paston Cooper. What a very pretty village Hambleton is. Well, Hambleton is actually on a peninsula in a reservoir, and today's walk takes me around that peninsula. Since the construction of Rutland Water in the 1970s, the village has been closed off on three sides by water, and the area is known as the Hambleton Peninsula. The parish originally included the settlements of Upper Hambleton, Middle Hambleton and Nether Hambleton. The latter two have now been almost completely submerged by the construction of the reservoir.
leaving Hambleton for now, my path took me eastwards along the north side of the peninsula. So my peninsula walk is around the shores of Rutland Water. Those geese just hissed at me, so I thought I'd give them a wide berth, just in case. <laughs> Rutland water is Anglian water's drinking water reservoir. It was known as Empingham Reservoir during its construction and until its official opening in 1976. It provides a reserve supply of water in the driest and most densely populated quarter of the UK and is one of the largest artificial lakes in Europe. Set in 3,100 acres of countryside, Rutland Water has a 25 mile perimeter track for walking and visitors can hire bicycles. Since the water is drawn upon when needed, the relative areas of land and water vary a little, but the flatter parts of the lake margin are enclosed by banks so that the wetlands nature reserve is maintained. Today is the 3rd of May, so for me, there are only two more days of being in my 40s, because on Friday, I reach the grand age of 50. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm looking forward to Friday like I would do any other birthday, but I just think it's the realisation of being 50. I can't believe I'm that old. In my mind, I still feel like I'm in my late 20s or early 30s, so to actually be reaching the age of 50 just doesn't seem real somehow. It just makes me think, where have all the years gone? Life has gone by so quickly. I've done a lot in my life, but also there are other things which I haven't done. I mean, I'm going to be 50 and I've still never been married, never had kids. I mean, that's not a complaint. That's partly my own choice. And my uncle, who used to live here in Rutland for a while, he was 49 before he got married. So there's still hope for me yet. But I just think it's the realisation of, of being that landmark age and just looking back and thinking, well, where has life gone? Well, I've always said that life gets better as you get older. So I'm hoping my 50s will be even better than any other period in my life. So here's looking to the future. Rutland Water's construction by damming the Gwash Valley near Empingham was completed in 1975. It flooded three to four square miles of the Gwash Valley, as well as the side valley, at the head of which lies Oakham. The Gwash makes a net input to the lake, but its flow downstream is maintained. Most of the stored water is extracted from the River Welland, between Tinwell and Stamford, and from the River Neen upstream from Peterborough, 
a city which is a major user of the water. Reaching Barnhill Creek, the path started to curve southwards as it crossed the end of the peninsula. soon on the south side of the peninsula as the path headed west at Hinman Spinney. From here I had a view across to the sailing club at Edith Weston on the south shore of Rutland Water. The reservoir is used not just for water storage but is a popular sports centre. In addition to walking and cycling around the shoreline, visitors can enjoy water sports such as sailing and fishing. A pleasure cruiser, the Rutland Bell, carries people around the lake. Bird watching brings visitors from far afield. I was thoroughly enjoying my walk beside Rutland Water, so I leisurely carried on taking in the lovely views. As I reached Middle Hambleton with a Jacobean old hall built in 1611, I was nearing the end of my walk around the Hambleton Peninsula. Now, despite the fact that this is a really pleasant walk around the peninsula, one thing I've noticed is that there are midges everywhere, 
all over the place. Sometimes I've walked along and there are literally clouds of them that you walk through. So you have to sometimes keep your eyes closed and your mouth closed so you don't swallow the bloody things. <laughs> anyway, despite the midges, very pleasant walk as I say. Well, that's the peninsula walk done. So I'm just going to follow this lane back into Hambleton. So now that I'm back in Hambleton, that's my walk here around Rutland Water completed. Now, as I said earlier, there are only two more days and then I'm 50. So today's walk here in Rutland has been my last walk of my 40s. On another note, it's been really nice to explore a little bit of the county of Rutland where my Uncle Jim once spent some of his life. So, cheers to you, Uncle Jim. <laughs>